In this video, our anchor gets fouled on some rocks and we have to clear that before setting sail through the Spanish Islands. We were sailing this beautiful Lagoon 52 from Navigar Yachtings around the island of Mallorca. We had a beautiful evening anchored on the southwest side of Mallorca in the bay called Santa Ponca. I think it's a great day for sailing. Uh, 12, 15 knots, you can't ask for better. The next bay over, a couple bays over, it's only about five miles. A beautiful island with the, with the restaurant on it. I saw that island on the map. All right, well, let's do it. Let's start them up and uh, pull the anchor up. You know, a lot of people worry about anchors and anchor alarms and all that. You can do apps on your phone where you can set an anchor alarm, and, and if you drift out of a certain circle, it will, uh, your alarm on your phone will go off. The problem with that is though, that you keep it down next to your bedroom and it doesn't get good reception and it wakes you up in the middle of the night with a false alarm. There's not really much you can do about that, but what I like to do is when I'm setting the anchor, uh, I leave our chart plotter on and it shows our course over the last like couple hours right here so you can see the black lines are actually what we're what we've been doing and so we're just kind of going on an arc instead of drifting so if we if one of those lines shot backwards and then started going we would know that we were we were uh, we were uh, uh, drifting and, and dragging but we're not so just a little trick of the trade there. It's under a rock is what the problem is. That's why maybe nobody's else was anchored here. It's pretty rocky down there, so uh, that anchor chain is under a rock. So we're gonna try to go forward to get it off the rock, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I think I'm gonna have to go snorkel on it. This is why you don't anchor on rocks, because this will happen, and this is never ha Oh, that sucks. It's How deep a, is the water? Not much. Not no? That, no, not that deep. Like what, like eight feet? Uh, probably no more than 10. Okay. It's See, a I've... nice little workout this morning. We'll to do it. Okay. Okay. Pull it up. Yeah, pull it up. Yeah. jumping in but whatever it felt good the water's nice so we'll get moving now with the anchor cleared we raised the sails to head out we've been heading this way downwind a couple miles to get out and now we can jive back to our final destination over there this boat's pretty easy to do. We've actually already hauled in on the main sheet so that the uh, boom won't go too far when we jive. And the jib is on a self-tacking, so all we gotta do is jive. Coming about, and we turn right, and everything will go through. There it goes. All right, so now we need to... Ease it out? Yeah, but we first need to move the traveler on the... Uh, main there so I'm gonna hit auto so oh, we're gonna move the traveler to one side so we're gonna ease out on the uh, starboard side traveler and pull in on the port side pull a little bit yeah Then we can ease out on the main sheet a little. So successful jibe, now we are headed right there. I think it's only uh, two and a half miles to our destination. Go anchor for the afternoon and evening. Yeah, How you enjoying it? Yeah, I like it. Yeah? Especially the sun and the waves and everything. Yeah. The wind wasn't too strong, but it made for a nice, relaxing sail.
Lagoon catamarans aren't exactly made for speed, but with 52 feet of waterline, she was moving quite well. It was only a few miles over to our anchorage. All right, so uh, here we are. I don't even know the name of this bay, Playa Campa de Mar. Cool looking restaurant right there. I think we're gonna go ashore, maybe do that for lunch or dinner. Lots of beach area, lots of people. It's a little choppier than I like because the wind's kind of wrapping around uh, the point over there and creating some chopping here. It's pretty busy though. Yeah, how you guys like it? Beautiful. Yeah. Amazing. Well, it's time to get in the water or let's uh, go to lunch Hell and then yeah. get in the water. What do you guys wanna do first? Water. Water. Yeah. water. All right, let's jump in. There's no better way to end a sail than by jumping in the water. We had planned to go to lunch at this restaurant, but it was too busy to even get a table. creation what is it well it's a charcuterie board so we have some meat and cheeses <laughs> classics <laughs> prosciutto salami pepperoni and then some different types of cheeses such as cheddar brie and then all fruits breads everything the whole nine yards <laughs> well, lunch is served uh, i think we need cocktails as well yeah there's not much better than enjoying sunset on a yacht now that I'm looking back, I can see all the signs I tried to fill in the cracks that were spread in my mind. But I was all out of hope, lost in an endless maze. The emptiness had unfolded just like a void. But you broke the coldness somehow and lit up a flame. And, ooh, I gotta tell you. She's having the best time. She's oh, I love this so much. I'm having so much fun. All you gotta do is talk him into it. I don't think you have much talking to do. <laughs> no, he has the thing. Whatever boat he's on, he wants it. After spending all day on the boat sailing and playing in the water, it was time to head ashore and find a nice dinner.
there is no shortage of beautiful restaurants on the beach in Mallorca. Cheers. Another day in paradise. Another great day on the water. Beautiful. What a great spot. Beautiful, beautiful job of picking this up. She's the best at picking restaurants. Thank you very much. Nice restaurant. Yeah. Look at this. It's gotta be like two You know, when you think of having dinner on the beach in Europe, this is what you think. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Can't get better than this. We have two catamarans, two different times in the BVI with Navigar Yachting, December 10th through the 17th and January 23rd through the 30th. We have a flotilla of eight boats in each spot, and uh, we want you guys to come sailing with us. There's a link down in the show notes if you'd like to sign up and get a boat and get a whole crew together and come have fun with us. And for both events, we're going to be doing a drawing from one of our patrons to come join us for free on the boat. You just have to pay for your airfare and your expenses down there, but you get your cabin for free. So go to patreon.com slash sailing doodles to sign up for that, and we're going to do a drawing in the next couple weeks here for the December one. So the boat where you've been sailing around in Mallorca is from Navigar Yachting, and so are the boats down in the BVI. They have a lot of really nice brand new boats. And actually, the January flotilla, uh, there's only two boats left. It's almost totally full, sold out. So there's still boats available for the December flotilla. So link Links down in the show notes. Uh, they're doing it by the boat, so you and a bunch of friends. I think they range in price from like $8,000 to $12,000. So if you get one of the $8,000 boats with four cabins, uh, you know, it's $2,000 a couple, you know, which is really reasonable. That's cheaper than a hotel in the BVI for sure. And it's a lot of fun. The BVI is such a beautiful place. Uh, I've been there quite a bit. We took another boat around. Uh, this same boat's gonna be uh, in the flotilla fleet in the BVI. It's just a beautiful place, great place to go explore. So many fun things to do. I'm gonna be there with you in the flotilla. We're gonna have our own boat cruising around with you. And like I said, we're gonna have a uh, cabin uh, that we're gonna do a drawing for our patrons, so you can sign up for that. If you can't find enough people to fill up a whole boat and you wanna partner with some other people, we can, uh, I w there's a link down in the show notes there where you can link to like a little Facebook message board where you can kind of get to know each other. And it worked really well last time. So all the people basically in the last flotilla in, J in July, uh, none of them really knew each other getting on the boats and they all became really good friends. In fact, they almost all of the whole group have rebooked boats uh, with the same groups going to uh, the BVI. So really cool. So sign up guys for It's Too Late and thank you so much for watching the channel and thank you to Navigar for helping put this together.